Fourth week of Lent, Thursday, March 23, 2023. Today we celebrate the feast of Saint Turibius of Mogrovejo, Bishop and Confessor. First reading, a reading from the book of Exodus, chapter 32, verses 7 to 14. In those days, the Lord said to Moses, Go down, for your people whom you brought up out of the land of Egypt have corrupted themselves. They have turned aside quickly out of the way that I commanded them. They have made for themselves a golden calf and have worshipped it and sacrificed to it and said, These are your gods, O Israel, who brought you up out of the land of Egypt. And the Lord said to Moses, I have seen this people, and behold, it is a stiff-necked people. Now therefore, let me alone, that my wrath may burn hot against them, and I may consume them, in order that I may make a great nation of you. But Moses implored the Lord his God and said, O Lord, why does your wrath burn hot against your people, whom you have brought out of the land of Egypt, with great power and with a mighty hand? Why should the Egyptians say, With evil intent did he bring them out, to kill them in the mountains, and to consume them from the face of the earth? Turn from your burning anger, and relent from this disaster against your people. Remember Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, your servants, to whom you swore by your own self, and said to them, I will multiply your offspring as the stars of heaven, and all this land that I have promised I give to your offspring, and they shall inherit it forever. And the Lord relented from the disaster that he had spoken of bringing on his people. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Gospel reading, a reading from the Holy Gospel of St. John chapter 5 verses 31 to 47. At the time, Jesus said to the Jews, If I alone bear witness about myself, my testimony is not true. There is another who bear witness about me, and I know that the testimony that he bears about me is true. You sent to John, and he has borne witness to the truth. Not that the testimony that I receive is from men, but I say these things so that you may be saved. He was a burning and shining lamp, and you were willing to rejoice for a while in his light. But the testimony that I have is greater than that of John. For the works that the Father has given me to accomplish, the very works that I am doing, bear witness about me that the Father has sent me, and the Father who sent me has himself borne witness about me. His voice you have never heard, his form you have never seen and you do not have his word abiding in you. For you do not believe the one whom he has sent. You search the scriptures because you think that in them you have eternal life. And it is they that bear witness about me, yet you refuse to come to me that you may have life. I do not receive glory from the people, but I know that you do not have the love of God within you. I have come in my Father's name and you do not receive me. If another comes in his own name, you will receive him. How can you believe when you receive glory from one another and do not seek the glory that comes from the only God? Do not think that I will accuse you to the Father. There is one who accuses you, Moses, on whom you have set your hope. For if you believed Moses, you would believe me, for he wrote of me, but if you do not believe his writings, how will you believe my words? This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to your Lord Jesus Christ. Reflection The words testimony, testify and witness appear again and again in today's Gospel. Jesus mentions John the Baptist as one who gives testimony about him. The fourth Gospel uses three images to describe John the Baptist's ministry in the context of Jesus' personality and his mission, voice, 
friend of the bridegroom and lamp. John is the voice crying out in the wilderness, but Jesus is the eternal word of the Father. John is the friend of the bridegroom, but Jesus is the bridegroom himself. John is the glittering, shining lamp, but Jesus is the light of the world. For anyone who wants to witness to Jesus, this intimate relationship between Jesus and John is exemplary. A question to ponder upon for all of us, what image would best describe my relationship with Jesus and his ministry? Amen. To all the listeners, have a blessed and meaningful Lenten season. May the blessing and grace of Jesus Christ be upon you and your family members. Amen. Dear friends, if you have benefited from this podcast, please consider giving us a five-star ratings on whichever platform you are listening to right now. Thank you so much and praise the Lord.